Well, with Amelia Bishop from the SPU women's basketball team, Amelia and the Falcons getting ready for first place Montana State Billings on Saturday. And Emily, just talk about that a little bit. Top team coming in. It's always fun to play teams like that. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm really excited because um, I have Cola Bad Bear, who's on Montana State. We both played in the big sky against each other. So okay. I remember her from my freshman year. So I'm excited to, she doesn't know me, but I mean, remembering her and getting okay. to play against her again. Um, and I'm just excited. I think our team has gone through a lot of growth the last couple weeks. Um, and this will really be a chance to kind of see if the hard work we've been putting in recently is paying off um, and just to get the measuring stick back out and see where we are within the league because I feel like Saturday was a little bit of a letdown and we need we need some some team um, coming back together all right and, you, and but you look at these last two weeks they've all been close games they've had a mm -hmm. chance in the fourth quarter a couple times it's gone your way a couple times it has and they're just what do you learn from from games like that I think it's just a lot of trust Okay. Um, knowing who to trust in those moments to have the ball in their hands, have on the court for defense. Um, and I think as well, our team is learning how to do better down the stretch of the game. Okay. Because there's a lot of times where we will have the lead either at the beginning of the game or in the third quarter when we kind of let the other team come back. So I think we're learning a lot about how to maintain leads okay. so that we don't get back to um, close games. Because... I mean, sometimes you, I would rather win an ugly game than lose a pretty game. Right, yeah. But sometimes you don't want an ugly game. You just want it to go go the right way. So I think as a team, we're, we're working a lot on shooting and defense and just trying to make it so that we don't have as many close games anymore. Okay. And speaking of defense, that's, that's been one of the hallmarks of this team. Mm -hmm. You've got you know, four of the last five opponents below 60 points. Just talk about the defensive effort out there. Yeah, I mean... Um, Simo is really great about letting us know like we're a defense first team. Um, that's really our priority. Um, there's a lot of technical things that we have to work through, and it's just a lot of trust on the defensive end too, sure. um, and communication. And I think people, including myself, are still there's a lot of learning still happening because right. it is such a specific type of defense that we're playing. Um, that there's a lot of nuances that are tough to understand, and every opponent you have to go into different, but at the end of the day, it's really about who's the grittier team and who's going to get on the floor for 50-50 balls, and I think against um, Western Oregon, we did a really good job about prioritizing those 50-50 okay. rebounds, getting on the floor, those kinds of things, and it's when we come out really gritty and scrappy that we do a lot better. So I think going into this Saturday, if we can be that team that's going to get on the floor before our opponent, then it'll be a really good defensive game. Okay. All right. And talk about your own game this year. This is your second year with the program. How are things going for you? They're good. Um, it's been a little tough being the only member of my class. Okay. Because I'm not really an upperclassman yet, even though I'm one of the older ones on the team. Right. And I've, but I've been in college for three years, and I've only really played two um, here, so I'm still pretty new compared to other people. So it's been a very interesting, like, navigating, not leading so much and trying to be led and adapting to new leadership on the team okay. and everything. And, um, I mean, Simon was just doing a great job keep trying to keep us together. And um, I, I just have a lot of appreciation for my team and the love that they have for the game. And everyone shows up and works hard every day. And, right. Um, right. Just really, I think we have a really good opportunity in the next couple days because we only really have 60 days or so left that are like promised mm -hmm. um and so in the next 60 days i think we're we're having a lot of building for the rest of this year and we're doing a lot of building for next year and so i'm really excited for both those things okay now you're not the only six foot three falcon out there skylar berry is also that do you guys like working with each other and making each other better during the during practice all the practice yeah out there i mean it's we me and sky have a very interesting history because we played against each other from middle school. So we've always oh, wow. been okay. kind of, I don't want to say rivals because we didn't play against each other that much, but there's always been a competitiveness. Okay. Um, but I mean, just the other day, like Monday, we were doing a really tough drill and we got wrapped up together and we both fell and the first thing out of our mouth was, are you okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine, are you okay? <laughs> and then we got back up and started going hard against each other. And I've never had a fellow post player that I can go as hard at 
and still walk away and have a mutual respect for each other that we're going to compete and we're going to go hard and we're making each other better and there's no personal feelings hurt right. for someone else's um, success and I think that's one thing that I'm really lucky is I understand she's being she's so successful and I'm so proud of her and I'm so glad that she is people are finally seeing how good she is and that I can come in and support her and give her a break when she needs and um just that she's one of our team leaders this year and I think we're really lucky to have her Uh, all right now in addition to basketball you were a track star in high school also is that right (laughs) yeah (laughs) now talk about you were a thrower is that correct yep I threw shot put and discus um I got fourth in state my senior year um, and it was, for me, track was just more for the relationships. I just love getting to chat with people and okay. have something outside of um, basketball to kind of have, just have fun with. But uh, Did you ever consider track for college or was it, or was, was it always going to be basketball for you? Um, I mean, it was, I wanted to play college basketball since I was in fifth grade. Okay. So it was kind of always basketball. But I did think about it. I thought about the potential of doing both. But that's just kind of hard. Um, yeah. To do. High school, that's um, one thing. College, it's, yeah. a, it's a whole other animal yeah. in college. Yeah. Um, so I always loved it, but no, it was really just to have fun with it more than anything. Okay. But, and you're majoring in what here? Communications. Okay. Communications with a minor in journalism. And then I'm looking at some options for second minors. But Okay. Now, you were broadcaster of the year in high school. Is that correct? Tell me about that a little bit. I was. So throughout... Um, high school. I just loved, sometimes I loved being in front of the camera, sometimes I liked being behind the camera, okay. but um, I got to do a lot of work during COVID, um, producing our school um, talk show, um, all of the like big school assemblies I had a hand in producing, okay. um, just so that we stayed connected um, during during that time that we were all separate, and I was one of like five kids that were still allowed in the school because I was going and using the TriCaster and the green screen and I kind of was self-taught with everything so I didn't really have a lot um I don't want to say guidance because my our teacher was great that did it but he had so much going on that I watched a lot of YouTube figured it out and um just really started enjoying the planning process and everything and just it was just fun getting to share information with people. So, oh. yeah. So as far as journalism and communication, do you see yourself on the front end being a reporter or more of a behind-the-scenes person? I think more behind-the-scenes. Okay. I do really love to interview and ask people questions, but I've kind of gone away from the journalism track a little bit. I like the writing and stuff, but I'm looking more into coaching or, like, sports event management. So, like director of operations, compliance, that kind of stuff. Got it, okay. Um, Because as much as I loved journalism in high school, I think it's just such a bigger scale now that it's something you really have to have a passion for in order to to put the work in. All right, all right. Amelia, very good. Thank you so much, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. All right.